was the most insane question I've ever been asked. Can you repeat it? If you are classified as a little bit unhinged at 20 years old as a girl, does that mean when you grow up at 30 or 27 or whatever, you should, you're still going to be unhinged? No, I like both sides, but I like the cheese side way more. This is legit my favorite place in Aspen. Wow, does it not look insane? Yeah. So good. Pretty nice. I mean, not bad. Oh, oh my gosh, I haven't seen that style. It looks really good. I thought it was the same as your other ones. James got a new green waffle. It's a waffle like overshirt jacket thing. Where is this Portuguese flannel? Or no, Universal no, Works. Universal Works. It's kind but of it kind of looks like the Portuguese flannel blue shirt you have. And it looks great in the vlog. Jeez. Look at that. It looks really good in person too. I also they like had a it white one that was sold out. White would have gone off. Cream or white? It's like creamy white. Yeah, cream would look too. I think white would have been a little weird. I like the the length. Yeah. Because usually I think I need you to, don't wear things that I think like I need to get more cropped stuff. Night one in Aspen, we are just having dinner here at the hotel. After we got fitted for our skis, we came back here. Oh my gosh, look at how red my eyes are from being tired. We came back here at like five and I just woke up at 7.15. We just like needed a power nap after the travel day from, I don't want to say from hell because I don't want to jinx us because Aspen Airport is like the wonkiest hotel, like least reliable, not hotel, I'm delirious, airport to fly in and out of because there's just always so many issues, so many flight cancellations, and today we had a layover in Chicago, and when we landed in Aspen, they held us on the tarmac for like two hours, and the pilot was like, Aspen Airport literally won't answer my calls. So you guys are stuck on the plane until they do basically and then I guess they started diverting other planes to fly into Grand Junction which is like a two or two and a half hour drive to Aspen so thankfully that didn't happen to us but we were stuck and like there was only one gate open at Aspen Airport took forever to get our bags one bag was like put on another flight thankfully like got there early but we had to wait in line to like speak to a representative to get it it was just a bit of a nightmare but had a cat nap Push the reservation to 8 p.m. here at the hotel. Probably gonna have a pretty chill night. So we can wake up and go skiing early. Our concierge did try to tempt us and tell us that cough what is it called, James? Coffee Jack? Black coffee. Oh, black coffee is playing at like the snow lodge or belly up. Which belly up is like a club in Aspen. I actually don't even know if I've ever been. I've just talked about it so many times and heard about it, but I don't know if I've ever been. And Snow Lodge, I'm pretty sure, is at the top of the mountain. But I could be wrong. Maybe it's somewhere else this year. I need to wake up. Hopefully that power nap gets me on somewhat of a time zone shift from being in the south of France. Can't believe, like, south of France. South, la I washed, the last time I washed my hair was in the south of France, which is just crazy. Outfit of the night. This top is actually from Naked, not from my collection. I think it's from Amelie Star's collection. I don't, I haven't really worn it. I've worn it once, I think. But I chucked it in my bag for the Marseille trip and I had it in my bag here, so I just threw it on. And then I'm wearing these cute shoes from Olivella. I think the brand is like newest. They're really cute. And my skirt is from Cezanne. I've been obsessed with Cezanne recently and been getting James so much stuff from their men's brand, October. Morning vlog! Morning shredders. It is 7.44. We're heading down so that we can do first tracks, which means we get to go down the mountain before anyone else does. It's something that the little Nell does and we signed up for it both days and the jet lag is working in my favor. I've been up since 6.30 and I'm ready. And then we'll get off the mountain early. Full Goldberg fit today. Alright, we're 30 minutes early, so that's a shocker. 
does not usually happen to me. So we're gonna go back inside, finish our coffees. You excited? I'm very excited. It looks like there was a bit of a dusting on the mountain, as James would call it. I guess I would call it that too. Alrighty, first run in the bag. We did, it's called, what's it called? Oh, first tracks. And basically I think if you're staying at some hotels, they allow you to go and do the first run of the mountain. We just did that and it was the best run of the season. It beat every run that we did in Mammoth already. It was insane. There's like so much fresh snow, but like not too much. I hate when there's too much powder because I get like stuck, but I felt so good. The instructors literally were like, oh my god, you rarely see a good snowboarder on this mountain. Like you were so good. You should be an instructor here. Now my ego is all amped up and I feel like a pro. I'm very excited. <laughs> James was what do you think? I was lagging. No, you did good though. Yeah, I was lagging. We were, he was like, the, you basically have to go down with an instructor. And he was like, okay, two rules. Don't crash and don't lose each other. And I'm like, okay, sounds good. Flies. He starts flying down the mountain. I'm like, I don't know if we can keep up with you, I think dude. we stopped once, top to bottom. And he was, yeah, top to bottom, stopped once. My knees hurt. He was like 70. Yeah, he's a mountain goat. And he was flying down the mountain. James said he's already ready for a beer. Yeah, I think been, we have to do tough morning. two more top to bottom before you even consider a beer. Grilled cheese? No grilled cheese yet. No name grilled cheese. I want a breakfast burrito, I think, from yeah. one of the places. The bar is not open yet, but we still managed to get a beer. And double fist with a hot chocolate. Double fist. Mm -hmm. Double fisting because I have two drinks. I've heard of it. Have you? Yeah, my mind went somewhere else. That's gross. It is so needed after so many flights this week. That was amazing. And now she's taking me into another room to go in the steam. Oh gosh, I probably shouldn't do that. Okay. I'm like, I'm gonna try going in there, but I feel like I can never breathe when I go into these things. Got some champagne and sweets. Let's see if you are able to open this one up properly. You look handsome. It looks good. You just want one? Wow, that's pretty clean. of the night. This black lace dress from Rolas. I actually need to shoot in it. Absolutely fire. <laughs> Looking great, Pookie. Good morning. Fresh coffee and fruit and some little pastries. Mm-mm-mm. Made it up for first tracks again. Proud of us. Although I went to bed at 9.30 p.m. Alrighty, we made it to Aspen's Snowmass. So we're at Snowmass Mountain. We took like a 25 minute bus ride from our hotel over to this mountain because there's a lot more runs over here and we did it once and there's just like, Aspen's so steep and this one has a lot more blues even though we're so good and we can do blacks We prefer to do the blues, blues. <laughs> It's just more casual and a lot more fun. There's a lot more mountain that we can cover here So we're staying here until 2 gonna get as many runs in as possible and then we're gonna go back and we have a reservation at Ajax 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 and today we'll actually operate 
thing. Yeah, we have to. When do we, we've been do asleep we, at 9 30 p.m. every night. We do need we to siesta do before that prayer or after that prayer. There's no siesta today. Ah. What is it? It's, a, it's a barely even a slope. It's a beautiful carving situation. Iconic. morning you guys i am we are still in aspen actually it is monday when we went to the airport yesterday our flight got canceled there was a bunch of other flights that canceled but it sucks because the one that there's one right before us that took off so we were like hopeful and we were ready to get out but little nell was very sweet and gave us our room back for another night and now we're rebooked to fly out today at first it was like so fucked because they only had flights available from yeah you want to say hi they only had flights available from Vail which is like an hour and a half drive which isn't that far but we looked up taxi prices and it was like $750 to get a cab from Aspen to Vail and then randomly their two seats opened up on a flight today so we jumped on it and got them American like kind of screwed us. They've screwed James over so much in the past week. He literally was in Miami and had a flight for 8.30 p.m. And they delayed it until 6.30 a.m. and didn't have any hotel rooms at the airport available. So he literally slept on the airport floor and like left the next morning. I mean, he said he slept like an hour. It was horrible. And it was after like a bachelor party. So he was like, it's the biggest nightmare. But they didn't give us any options, I think because it was canceled due to weather. And other airlines like Delta were giving people $2,000 credits to change their flight. But I guess that was because it was like a weight limit thing rather than being canceled to weather. So they don't like give you a voucher. Praying that we get out today. Aspen's like the number one most canceled flights in the world. I'm pretty sure that's a fact. You can check me on that, but it happened to us last time we were here too, so it was kind of expected. Anyways, we had a really nice morning and day yesterday. We, the little Nell came back and picked us up from the airport. We got our bags back from the airline and we came back to the hotel, put our name in at White Horse Tavern, which is like the place we ate the first time we got the chicken sandwich. I got the salad again. Then we came back and actually ran into an old friend at the hotel, caught up with them. And then James and I went up to the room for the rest of the day. We watched a movie, we took a nap. I slept like 10 hours. I really needed it with all the traveling, which was so nice. And then this morning we woke up pretty early, got a workout in, I showered, blow dried my hair, got like fully ready for the day, filmed a little something on my way out. So ended up being a nice little extra day here and I'm not missing anything in New York. I mean, James and I were even talking yesterday at the airport because basically there was like wind and when it's windy, they need the planes to be lighter for it to be safer, which sounds pretty sketchy. They were offering people, Delta was offering people two grand gift cards. They needed 11 people to not take that flight, to like move their flight. So they were giving people two grand gift cards. Hold on, I just ordered something and they're screaming my name. I'm actually at this place called Juice Just in Aspen grabbing us a healthy snack because we ate so unhealthy like this trip and last night we ordered room service and James got a burger. I ended up actually being kind of healthy and got like a tortilla soup. We kind of ate just like all day yesterday. So I wanted to get something healthy before our flight because there's no healthy options at the airport. They literally only have chicken fingers. And so I got a smoothie, a juice, and what I was like saying before, oh, I was saying James and I were both like, if our plane needs people, before it was canceled, needs people to like stay, they're like anyone with flexible travel plans, we would totally take the gift card and like stay another night because we both have flexible like work, we both work from home obviously. So we were already like planning on doing that um, 
since we're lucky enough to have the flexible schedules. But yeah, Aspen is literally so touch and go. Like it was such an insane crowd in there and like everyone's so stressed. People had been there since like 8 a.m. and were like weren't taking off until the night and whatever. It was pretty easy to to turn around and you know switch it to today. We have a layover in Chicago and that flight keeps getting pushed back which I'm not even mad about because it's such a short connection that I think my bag wouldn't make it onto the second flight. So if it gets delayed a little, it usually means my bag will make it onto the next flight. So don't really mind that. Just a broken straw. I hate paper straws, this is so annoying. Okay, I need a new one. Also got a chicken wrap and a veggie wrap. My best friend Emily and I used to come here when we would visit Aspen. We used to come to Aspen when we went to Boulder for our frat formal, so we did ski or snowboard on the mountain. We just like partied at this like shitty hotel here, and now it's so funny to like come back in this way and experience it like so differently. It's obviously one of the most bougie places in America, and it's just I see it in such a different light now because I didn't experience any of that kind of stuff when I came. For a frat formal, we literally would just get absolutely hammered at the hotel and like run around in our bikinis and jump in the pool, which was a time, a really fun time. I wonder if I could dig up some of 